vision to our family. And that vision is coming to the pastoral leadership staff. Today with us, we are honored to have Dr. Daniel Onoe, who is the president of the Northeastern Conference of Civil Day Adventist. He is here, accompanied by his wife and his daughter, and he is going to proceed to introduce uh, our newest edition. As I stand here, I want to just take a moment, if you may, to give me as I welcome the, my colleagues and colleagues, spouses who are here. I just hope that Sister Eunice Baker is in the audience, Sister uh, Baker's wife. We want to say welcome to you as well. So now, ladies and gentlemen, please uh, welcome Pastor Daniel Conway as he comes to us. Saints of God, happy Sabbath. Today is a historic day in the life of the Linden Church. And before I begin, I want to take a moment to thank and affirm the ministry of Pastor Warner Richards and this congregation. I believe that God has gifted him with the talent to preach the word like nobody else can, to teach the word of God. And today we seek to enhance his leadership and his ministry by equipping him with an assistant who will be able to also help Linda as it speak as it seeks to speak life into this community. I notice that we have friends who have come from far and near for this special occasion. And we say welcome to all of you. I want to bring you greetings from the Northeastern Conference and my fellow officers. Dr. Oswald Yu, our Executive Secretary, Elder Edson Bobel, our Treasurer. They're each carrying out responsibilities in another part of the field today, but they ask that I transmit their greetings as well. I want you to know that your conference, the Northeastern Conference, is being blessed right now. In 2015, we saw our membership surpass the 56,000 member mark. And we praise God for that. In 2015, there were 2,110 individuals who joined the Seventh-day Adventist Church through the ministry of Northeastern Conference Churches, including the Linden Church. In 2015, we saw a significant size increase. In 2015, we saw five new churches organized into the sisterhood of our churches. So the Lord is blessing His people, and what we witness today is a part of that blessing. The installation of a pastor in any church is a solemn occasion, which requires preparation and humility of heart. We have come here today to install Pastor Alvin Orville Bolgen as the assistant pastor of the Linden Seventh-day Adventist Church. As much as this is a covenant being formed between several parties, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and in his presence, we call upon you to unite on the covenants of dedication. Pastor Orville Anthony Bulgin was born in Kingston, Jamaica, to the late Charles E. Bulgin and Ione Williams. Pastor Bulgin is the second, the eldest of three boys, and at a very age he knew without a doubt that God had called him to ministry. Pastor Bulgin grew up around ministers. As a matter of fact, two of his uncles blessed Northeastern Conference through years of devoted ministry in this territory. They are both not retired, but their nephew comes today to carry on the legacy of the gospel ministry. <laughs> Under the careful Christian guidance of his late grandparents, Sarah and Leonard Bolgen, Orville was raised to know the Lord as his personal savior and 
follow the path of preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. Born into a family with a rich heritage of pastors and church planters, he grew to love God and develop skills he would need for ministry. Pastor Bolton flourished and grew as a young Christian, and in his late teens and early twenties, family and social and economic changes forced Orville to make a different career path until he moved on and could resist no longer that urge, the fire in the bones, the calling to fulfill God's purpose in his life. He says now, looking back, that it was not all, it did not always seem like it. The Lord was always with him, molding him and guiding his footsteps back into the path that he had sent for him. No matter where he was or where he went, he remained active in the church. I want to pause here for a moment and invite all those whose, whose path has crossed this path. I see friends, Elder McLean from Hope in Connecticut. I see in our audience different people uh, from, from different churches, Sister Felder from Beacon, Sister Lola Nathan, and I all those who have come to support and salute this installation, please stand. We have many churches, and this reflects on the legacy of ministry that Pastor Bolton has exercised. Thank you very much. I also want to call on members of the extended family, the Bolton family, the Holmes family, all of you who are here, please stand. We know that this is a day of celebration for you. Let the church say amen. Thank you. Orville continued to develop a close personal relationship with God and finally accepted the calling that God had placed in his life. In 2008, he attended the Mission College of Evangelism and received an Applied Ministries Diploma in November of 2008. Shortly after graduation, he received a call to Minnesota where he worked as a lay evangelist with Pastor Bill Nixon. He then went on to the Seventh-day Adventist Theological Seminary at Andrews University and it is there that he recently graduated with a Master of Divinity degree. <laughs> Orville has an evangelist heart that focuses on preaching and teaching the Word of God in a way that is easy to understand. Orville's burden is to empower the Church of God by emphasizing the plain gospel, teaching outreach evangelism, and emphasizing holistic health through seminars, cooking classes, and end-home consultation. While at Andrews, Orville worked as an associate pastor at the Ocean Seventh-day Adventist Church in Chicago under the leadership of senior pastor Gordon Fraser. He also served at the Battle Creek Seventh-day Adventist Church under the leadership of Pastor Denry White. At the Battle Creek Church, he himself held an evangelistic crusade where ten souls gave their lives to the Lord. Since returning to New York following his graduation, Orville has had the privilege of working as a Bible worker with the Community Worship Center under the leadership of Dr. Abraham Jules. And for their evangelistic crusade in 2015, 160 souls were baptized to the glory of God. He has been spearheading the new believers class since that time. We want you to know that he is blessed with a loving family. His wife of 12 years. I would like to invite my wife, Sister Fritzi Andre, to come forth and tell us a bit about Sister Taisha Holmes Bulger. Why don't you ask her to the platform? Right in the corner where you are. Good morning, Linda. Good morning. 
happy Sabbath, London. <laughs> Sister Taisha Holmes Dolgen brightens the corner where she is. The daughter of Northeastern Conference, she did not wait for a call for her husband for her to brighten the corner where she is. <laughs> As a daughter of Northeastern, she understood her duty to brighten the corner where she is. And in that, she used all her gifts and talents, as you well know, as part of the Home Sisters, to cheer somebody and praise the Lord. As a registered nurse by profession, she still brightens the corner where she is. It is my pleasure this morning to officially welcome her as a pastor's wife in ministry. The rest of her bio is available for your reading. You can take it home. Feel free to get to know her better, and more importantly, love her with the love of Jesus. The Dolchins have been blessed with three children. Sarah Janet, who is 11 years old. Anthony Jr., who they lost and deceased at birth and Samuel Edward Lee, six years of age. Well, let's invite them to come and join us at this time. <laughs> I'm going to invite Pastor Bowen to join me here, friends. Because I have some questions in the covenant that we are making today. Pastor Bolgen, do you declare today that you will shepherd and minister to this flock as God has entrusted them into your care? Yes, it will. Do you promise that you will take time to visit this flock? Yes. That you will present this congregation to the Lord Jesus Christ in prayer each and every day? Yes, it will. Do you promise that you will saturate yourself in the study of the Word of God so that you may properly be the flock? flock? Yes, sir. That you will preach the Word of God in boldness and clarity in season and out of season? Yes. Do you promise, Pastor, that you will support the ministry of Pastor Warner Richards and that you will work together with him in harmony that you will work and support him as Joshua supported Moses, as Elisha labored with Elijah, as Timothy supported Paul. Thank you very much, Pastor. I want Pastor Richards to join us at this moment. Pastor Richards, I also have some questions for you. Do you promise Pastor Richards to take Pastor Bolgen under your mentorship and train him for a life of ministry in the seventh day of this church? Yes, I do. Do you promise that you will be a spiritual guide and advisor as he deploys his talents and responds to his pastoral calling? Yes, I do. Do you promise that you will labor and all those who labor with you to provide a safe working environment? where he can utilize his God-given talents for the maximum. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Pastor. <laughs> I want to invite the elders of the Linden Church to surround us now and surround your pastoral team. I also want to thank the first elder and all the elders for everything they do to keep this congregation vibrant and alive. 
the pastor is a, a single uh, individual human being, and he could not do all without the support of the elders that made the Linden Church great. Amen. Please join us. <laughs> 